Hello there and welcome back to International Fathers. I'm your host and your creator, Nelson L. Moody Sr. We're going to talk some more about definitions because I feel as though when you understand the words that you read, you understand the meanings of them, you can interpret the laws, learn the laws, and representing yourself establishing your case from the beginning an attorney and a judge could do nothing but compliment you on your work and give you your props some will most won't and as I said before there are rules to every game rules that you play once you master those rules get it up here you get the knowledge up here, ain't no stopping you now. Rules, generally an established and authoritative standard or principle, a general norm mandating or guiding conduct or action in a given type of situation. That's the legal term for rules. Plain language policies in which one follows policies that's all policies on your job policies in school just follow them rules and regulations subpoena a writ commanding a person to appear before a court To order a production of documents or other things. Plain language, a document requesting a person to appear in court. That's all. That big hyped up word in plain language just fell. Because you understand it. And you know how to use it because you have interpreted the law. And reverse it in your favor. Reconsideration for modification to discuss or take up a change in something, an alteration, modification order. A party wishing to modify, which means change. Modify means change. An existing order must show a material change in circumstances from the time when the order sought to be modified was entered. And in plain language, to talk about or discuss a matter at intent to have the previous decision changed. That's all you want. Reconsider race and modification. You want some previous change in your favor. And why not? You're representing yourself. Responded, a party against whom an appeal is taken. Responded, in plain language, a person against whom an appeal is taken. Couldn't get no plan than that the first time. Table of authorities. A representation expressly in column and form of a particular of subjects, usually to present diverse terms in a way that more easily understood. In column form, you know how you did back in school, graph form, that type of stuff. That's all it is. And my plain language to that is table of contents. Letting you know what's in the book. That's all. Page 1, chapter 2, talk about sunshine. Page 1, chapter 3, talk about the uh, uh, moon. Page 1, chapter 3, it talks about cooking rooms. And go on and on and on. Nothing but a graph. Let you know what's in there. And here's one. Writ of certiorari 
an extraordinary writ issued by an appellate court at its discretion, directing a lower court to deliver the record in the case for review. In plain language, documents suggesting the law court to hear the case. Because sometimes once it's out of the law court's hands, they won't listen to it again. No matter how hard you push it and try it. Ask me how I know. Contempt of court. Conduct that defies the authority or dignity of a court or legislature. Plain language. To go against the court's request. That's all it is. Going against what the court requested you to do. It's contempt of court. Once you learn and understand the legal definitions of the court system, interpret its laws to your advantage. You can navigate through the court system with no problem. The only problem you'll have is you'll be a threat to a school trained attorney. You'll be a threat to a judge because you know the information just as well as they do. However, it won't be admitted. You may not get your props. But you do what you're supposed to do. You handle your business. That's another part of the mission of this book. Digesting the information. Plain language. Remember what you learned. Remembering everything that you learned. You can go back and forth on it. You can study it. But just get it up here. Because once it's up here, can't nobody take it away from you. Nobody can take it away from you. Now it's Moody Senior. More information. www.nelsonlmoodysenior.info A father's self-representation can be ordered at Barnes & Noble, Arthur House, Borders, Amazon, and wherever books are sold. Hosting Creative International Fathers, you're at the Nelson Moody Senior Studios. And once again, fathers, call those children. Children, call those fathers. Fathers, help those children. Children, help those fathers. Until next time.